I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Beth Riley and I am with the Flamingo Group and I'm a realtor and our team has been very interested in the building of green homes. And the start of this is with Joe Pasma from Intercept and he's the national sales manager for the Intercept for Intercept Incorporated. I have lots of questions for you, Joe. What are some of your pet uh, other green heating sources uh, that you think really go well with SIPs or that you've actually done jobs on and you're like, this, this rocks. And this is a great green source of heat or. With, from a lighting standpoint, one of the things, you know, with the vaulted ceilings, a lot of people talk about want to have can lights. Mm -hmm. I think one of the, and, and can lights with SIP roof panels don't work well because you're cutting a hole in that insulation and you're also compromising some of the structural sides of that. So the, the advent of this new, these new LED thin low profile lights work really cool from the standpoint of okay. the vaulted ceilings and, and yeah. what that can show. So I think um, that works really cool. From, from a, a heating and cooling standpoint, you can really use any type of equipment that's out there. Um, the challenge with the SIP building or, or any high performance building is that you don't need as much heating at this time of the year. Right. You know, 40 or 50,000 BTU furnace is a relatively small furnace. Well, a, a 2,000 square foot home might only need 15,000 BTUs. How do you do that? Well, mini splits become a really cool way of. Oh, okay. What they use throughout Europe. Mm -hmm. That kind of situation. And we see a lot of that kind of stuff happening, um, you know, around the cities here. So mini splits work well. Split. You can do the geothermal, um, but that gets to be, uh, depending on where you're at, uh, drilling wells um, might be a, a bit of an issue from that standpoint. There a lot of things are, are changing and moving to air source heat pumps now. So you're using that for cooling and heating and the efficiencies of some of that equipment are to the point where um, an air source heat pump can actually heat a building even if it's minus five degrees outside. So um, there's some really cool technologies and that those technologies can be downsized, which again, changes that that cost structure of the building and so maybe you pay a little bit more for that envelope but you're paying less for the equipment that's heating and cooling it so in the end you end up with a much more comfortable home that actually costs less yeah my pet my pet love is in floor heating so those radiant heating is, is fantastic it's uh, it's really nice heat because it's yeah. so consistent throughout the whole house. So that's that's my you know my creature comfort that I like. I just learned of a um, a mirror that is it's it works on a similar principle to the radiant floor, but it's a radiant heat source. So the mirror actually heats up the objects in the room through radiant heat. And wow. I'm told that that's really comfortable too. That I, that was my reaction, Beth, when I heard about it. Is wow, um, yeah, that's a whole new webinar, I think. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know much about it at this point in time. I I need to do a lot more research on that, but it sounds really promising from that standpoint.